Crime Watch tonight, police officers' vigilance puts a stop to a spate of motorcycle theft. And find out more about the Public Transport Security Command. Welcome to another episode of Crime Watch. I'm ASP Jessica Ang. Every day, an average of two to three motorcycles are reported stolen. Due to its structure and size, motorcycles are relatively more vulnerable to theft than a motor car. However, there are measures you can take to avoid becoming a victim of a motorcycle thief. Solving cases involving vehicle theft requires more than clever intelligence gathering and meticulous investigation. Extreme alertness and watchful eyes of officers when they're out on the streets are just as critical. In our first story, we look at the speed of motorcycle thefts in Topayo and see how officers' vigilance put a stop to that. Day in March 2009, Ting Chang Kang, as he normally would, parked his motorcycle at a multi-story car park in Tropayo Lorong Wan. But when he returned a few days later, his bike was nowhere to be found. Ting Chang Kang immediately went to report the case to the police at the neighborhood police post. Where do you park your bike? At Tropayo Lorong Wan. Lot 1568. What's the model? Yamaha Isaac. Can you give me the registration number of your bike? FR5754J. Abdul Jana, an officer with many years of experience handling theft of vehicles, was assigned to solve the case. After ensuring basic requirements such as sending lookout messages for the stolen motorcycle, Ayo Jungle did an online check to see if any parking summons for the stolen motorcycle had been issued. His experience told him that such motor vehicle theft culprits usually would not have parking coupons or cash cards with them to pay for parking. Hence, he would be able to locate the stolen vehicle if parking authorities such as HDB or URA had parking summons records against the stolen motorcycle. In his first screening with HDB on the morning of 23rd of March, Ayo Jalil found no summons issued against FR5754J. Later in the same afternoon, Ayo Jalil made another screening. This time, he found something. At about 12.29 p.m., a parking warden had found the stolen bike FR5754J with no parking coupon. A ticket was immediately issued. Ayo Jalil immediately called up the parking division of HDB and confirmed that the stolen motorbike was parked at Jalan Bukit Merah without a parking coupon. Ayo Jalil and his team left for Jalan Bukit Merah to locate the stolen motorcycle FR5754J. Unfortunately, the motorcycle was no longer there. Okay, guys, we observe from here for a while to see if the motorcycle come back or not. The team decided to wait, ready to intercept the stolen motorcycle should it show up. But it didn't. Determined to solve the case, the next morning, Ayo Jamil went through police records of recent motorcycle theft cases. A report filed about two months ago on the 1st of January 2009 caught his eye. A motorcycle had been stolen from a multi-story car park at Lorong Wan Tropayo. The victim was Neni Arfa Binti Abdullah. I park it at the multi-story car park at the block 156A, Lorong Wan Tropayo. The incident occurred at the same car park where Tin Chang Kam's motorcycle was stolen from. What is your registration plate number? FY1801X. 
the brand and the model. Okay, it's a Yamaha Y125Z. Soon after the report was made, a gazette was issued to all police units. House room, this is Station Inspector Chu from Putu MPP. Please send out lookout message for one stolen motorcycle. Assembly plate number, Cox Rock Yankee, 1801 X-ray. Eight days later, on the 9th of January, the missing motorcycle was found abandoned at a car park in Jalan Bukit Merah. This was the same car park where Tin Chung Kam's motorcycle was summoned. Jai Fatri, Romeo 3, Bravo, uh, got one vehicle, Jalan Bukit Merah over. Jai Fatri, Romeo. 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 Jai was reported stolen from Block 156A, Lorong 1, Topayo. From the records, 8 out of 12 cases over the last 5 months happened in the same Topayo estate. And more, Nelly's bike was recovered at a car park in Jalan Bukit Merah. The same car park where Tin Chang Kam's bike was summoned for parking without a parking coupon. There was a link between the two cases. Confident that their analysis of the case was on the right track, Ayo Jalil and his team proceeded for another ambush at Jalan Bukit Merah. Any question? No, sir. Let's go. Being experienced IOs handling countless motorcycle thefts, Ayo Jalil and his team had developed the habit of looking at motorcycle number plates while on the roads. That investigative instinct was indeed pivotal in helping to end this series of motorcycle thefts. Hey, this motorcycle license plate number looks familiar. FR5754J. A quick check through his records confirmed that FR5754J was indeed the stolen motorcycle. I owe Jalil here. We are trailing one stolen motorcycle, Fox Road Romeo 5754 Juliet, along City Tunnel towards Jurong. Where's your driving license? Where's your driving license? I don't have one. Whose bike is this? My friend's bike. Who's your friend? What is his name? Your what? When a name different from the actual owners was given, the I.O. immediately confirmed their gut feel that something wasn't right. Where's your one now? We are placing you under arrest for suspected theft of the cycle. Come follow us. Norton didn't hesitate to give the police Irwan's address. Yes? I was Jalil from Tanglin Police. We are looking for Irwan. Is he in? Irwan, in. Can you open the gate, please? Yes. Are you Irwan? Yes. I was Jalil from Tanglin Police. We are placing you on the arrest for motorcycle theft. What motorcycle theft? Follow us to the station. I, I didn't know anything. Is this your bike? No. Whose bike is this? I don't know. You know the guy inside the car? Do you know him? Norden. Norden say this bike belongs to you. Where do you get the bike from? Where you get the bike from? I stole it. I took by you. Come. Okay, Irwan, how many more motorcycles did you steal? Uh, I can't remember. More than 10. Even While in custody, Irwan and Norden confessed to stealing 12 motorcycles between November 2008 and March 2009. Sometimes I did it alone. Sometimes with Norden. Did you steal a motorcycle? Yes. Irwan would normally first try and pick the locks of motorcycles at random. He would go for motorcycles which fit his key. Okay. 
Here one would then take the motorcycle for joy rides and at times use it to move around from place to place. On several occasions, he took Norlin on rides. And on several occasions, Norlin was his lookout. Whenever the stolen motorcycle ran out of fuel, the riders would abandon the vehicle. Mohammed Irwan was convicted of 12 counts of motorcycle theft and riding without a valid driving license and without insurance coverage. He was sentenced to 42 months imprisonment, a $2,000 fine and a 5-year disqualification from driving all classes of vehicle upon release. Mohammed Nordin was convicted of 6 counts of motorcycle theft, riding a motorcycle without a valid driving license and without insurance coverage. He was sentenced to 39 months imprisonment and an 8-year disqualification for driving all classes of vehicle upon release. As the story has shown, a motorcycle thief may use a key similar in shape and size to the original. He may then force a key into the keyhole and attempt to start the engine. Police records have shown that motorcycle thieves usually strike late at night or early morning before the sun rises. These are times where human and vehicle traffic are usually low. Police records have also shown that of the 12 motorcycles stolen by Irwan and Nordin, 8 were Yamaha motorcycles whose engines were found easily ignited with their key. To protect your motorcycle, you might like to consider the following measures. Park your vehicle in well-lit areas. Remove the ignition key and secure your motorcycle with an additional lock such as a wheel lock or disc brake lock even if it is only for a short while. Do not keep your ignition key inside the rear box compartment or under the seat. If possible, install an anti-theft alarm system as an additional safeguard. Do take note of the precautions if you own a motorcycle and don't want to have it stolen. Remember, it can happen to you too. After the break, witness some of the training that Transcom officers go through. <laughs>